Pink toxicity used to be a big cultural issue if you're old enough to remember. The biggest culprit was the neurotoxic house paint lead white which I'm going to make today. To do this I start by adding lead pellets to a beaker followed by some strong acetic acid. This is left to sit to dissolve the lead into lead acetate. Meanwhile I boil a lead sinker in nitric acid to make some lead nitrate. When this cools, the lead nitrate forms some very spiky crystals. After letting it sit a few days I pass my lead acetate solution through a filter to catch the undissolved pieces. Lead acetate is very sweet, which is why the Romans used to add it to wine. It's also why children used to eat lead paint. In any case I go ahead and pour the lead acetate into a flask and slowly add sodium bicarbonate. This will produce insoluble lead carbonate, but care must be taken in this addition to prevent it bubbling over. I go ahead and continue adding bicarbonate until the solution pH reaches 8, and then I allow it to settle. While that's finishing up I go ahead and add my lead nitrate to a beaker. To this I will add sodium hydroxide to precipitate white lead hydroxide. This is also done until the pH reaches 8. At this point I pour my lead carbonate solution into my lead hydroxide solution to form lead hydrocarbonate which is the pigment white lead. I now need to filter off my pigment to get it into a solid piece. This was done using vacuum filtration, but the pigment particles are so small that it took forever. That said, I went ahead and cut most of the filtering footage. Once it finally finishes I go ahead and carefully transfer my small slab of lead white to a glass to dry. You can already see here that the white lead is extremely opaque as well as buttery smooth in texture which made it such a useful pigment. Unfortunately though this is acutely toxic and is a painted peels off surfaces in a very satisfying way which was a recipe for disaster as a house paint. Nowadays it is really only used by professional artists. I hope you found this interesting and follow for more.